Hi, I'm Miriam from Art Curios. First of all, if it's the first time for you here, it's the first time for me. <laughs> so, Art Curios, why? Because I love every manifestation of art. Um, graphic art is my main, uh, main thing. But uh, with graphic art, everything, everything that I that uh, I, I see and I I, I, I say, oh, wow, that I'm going to try. I want, I want to try, I want to do it. I have my ideas in the way, but that's what I am attracted to. So. My father was an artist, a graphic artist also. And uh, so, let's say, I learned from him at first. And then I'm 62. So I learned from many, many, many places. Now we have the advantage of the internet. We have YouTube. We have uh, blogging, we have so, so many places where we can go and learn something new because no matter how many years you are in this, you learn something new every, every day. Sometimes from others, sometimes from yourself, from your own work. So I hope you will learn something little today from me. I want to mention one person that stood up because, you know, there are a lot of people that we see all day, but she is exuberant, jolly. And I learned very, very important thing from her. She also in the, in, in this, been many 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 years uh, so I will give you the data below the link her name is Froile she is from New Zealand and her channel is Froile Art so this is it I hope you will enjoy us, me, at least. I am going to show you how to, I print some paper and then I put uh, every color to, to be organized in an envelope. And uh, maybe we will we'll see, but maybe we, we could accomplish even further to use this paper for a collage. Okay, bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Well, let me start by doing some stencils. Uh, first of all, I really enjoy to do my own. That doesn't say that I, I, I don't buy. I have some, <laughs> I bought. Yeah. I, I don't know, I really like to imagine something and I do it. So now I start by drawing whatever I want. And then I'm going to cut. What I'm going to cut, the parts I want the paint path through. Because where is the cardboard, the paint will remain on the jelly plate. You will see how are we printing and we use 
all. We use this one and we use the print that stays on the jelly plate after I remove the stencil. But we'll see. Now, have in mind, I don't use ruler. I trust on my tools, but if you need to or you want to, for better results, maybe more accurate, only use metal one, not wooden one, not plastic one, because only the metal will not be cut by the cute. So we are at the end. Magic of, of editing. <laughs> Here is the last one. On the table, I have some new ones I never used before and some that I made in the days before and I already used a lot. <laughs> I really love it. Here my neurographic stencil. Here another one. Here is the, the recent one I didn't use it. This one neither. So uh, on a stamp I, I made stamps also with foamy, foamy on foamy and on the cardboard to be rigid. Now I put a plastic on the table because the jelly uh, print, printer must be put on a non-porous surface. And I tape it to the table for to be so the jelly plate won't uh, move during my printing. I put some uh, paper. This one is uh, a bag. It came from a bag from a supermarket bag. I received the, the produce. And then I reuse it. Why not? I uh, uh, I think everything you need, if you have it or you have something similar, use it first. Then go buy. The same goes for the papers. Here you see this is sandwich wrap. It's similar to the parchment uh, paper, parchment paper I use also, regular paper uh, like photocopy paper and uh, pages of books. Uh, of course I, I bring some uh, old books nobody wants to do that, uh, not the books I read. <laughs> Sometimes you wish <laughs> you do that. Uh, here you see I put a lot of uh, different paintings as uh, and clean the the rail, the, the the roller there on the paper on the side. Now I put some stencil. You'll see, yeah, this is the one, the, the last one I, I made, and the, the, the other one. This paper and parchment paper, they have a surface that is more glossy. This is not the, the, the surface you must use, but the other. And here is regular paper. Today I didn't use uh, books, pages. About the colors, you can use 
the colors you want. Uh, have in mind there are some combination of colors that made uh, always brown. <laughs> Beware. Learn from your mistake as I learned from mine. And if you want to share your mistakes in the comments, as I, I, I can learn from yours also. <laughs> there is nothing that uh, can't be uh, redone, can't be do over or do on it, because uh, we don't throw things away, even though we don't like it. Here I'm drying the bottom layer so I can put a, a, a paint on it and after that you will see that I can uh, lift not only the color I am putting now but the color below. To do that, in order to do that, you need to rub really, really, really rub it here. Still, there is something. So if you put some more paint, Why I didn't wait, why I didn't dry it, because it's already dry. I didn't lift all of it, so maybe now. Yep, that's pretty. Here I rub with this <laughs> end of uh, toilet paper. Yes, I lift it. Now I split this video in two because it was really too long. So in this first part, you will find all about printing and stenciling. Now, in the second part, we, made, we will make the collage. see now what happened I put some colors stencil and now I lift the paint and here we have the two colors like split colors because I didn't want to work the surface so they two colors form another one. Sometimes when the colors is too compromised, I, I know it will form something I don't want. So I do that. Now spread some gold and now I really love this print because it's a ghost print. It's when what dressed 
on the plate we lift it here some wet paint yellow but we not no don't only we, we we will have yellow because it lifted the dry paint with was yellow. It's like a surprise, like, uh, I don't know, your birthday, you woke up and you don't know what happened, what will happen this day. Will you receive a cake? Will you receive a kiss? Will you receive a present? You don't know. The same thing with this. Now I... Because it don't uh, take so long to dry. Because it's acrylic what we use. Um, so really... And it's a thing layer of uh, of paint so I don't have all the place to of the world to, to, to put to dry things so when it's dry I made place <laughs> I lift it I put one on the other but only if it's dry Here I made a mistake. I wanted to put one stencil on other so I could see with the form of the of one of them the barrier the, the forms on, of the other but I didn't choose one well, so no. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> what happened it wasn't elegant. But I say, as I said before, you learn from your mistakes. Or maybe not, maybe it's not a mistake. Maybe down the road I, I will see, wow, that's perfect. That's just what I needed. You never know with it creative thing you create you sometimes uh, many years after you create it and you have some point of view and after that you uh, don't, don't need to to be many years it could be many days after you see it when you say oops I didn't see that before. Like for instance, in the second video, you will see how I made the collage. I made it with one orientation. All the time I thought this is the orientation I want. When I finished, I put aside to dry but I'm not big on waiting so I said to oh, let's take a picture before it dries <laughs> I, I already know that after drying you see better because you don't have so much the reflection and the, the glue uh, at first is white and it's covered it after that it won't cover so I changed the orientation because I saw it with another orientation and I said this is it so here I have all the papers 
I printed this section. This one I didn't, uh, I didn't want like this, but I have the opportunity to put it in another print section and to add layers and layers and layers till I, I, I said, yeah, that is what I want. This one, I don't want to, to touch it. I think I don't want to use it even. <laughs> this one I, I don't want. But you never know. Maybe you have the place that is right as background or as a, a little stripe. You don't know. 